Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, welcome to Ikeda. Today we will see some simple numericals on poles and zeros of a network. Let us see what it is. So here you can see there is problem number one which uh, is asking us to find poles and zeros of the impedance of following network. So impedance is Z of S that is already in S domain. This is resistance and this is inductor. So resistance remains unaffected. Inductor and capacitor they are changed. They get changed. So we have to plot the poles and zeros in S plane. So let us redraw this circuit in S domain. So here I have drawn this circuit in S domain. Capacitor is replaced with 1 upon S. Inductor with S into L that is 1 by 2 and resistance is unaffected. Now we are supposed to find the poles and zeros of this impedance function. So we need to first find impedance. So you can see it is very simple. Impedance is parallel combination of these two plus 1 upon S. So Z of S is equal to this 2 ohm resistance is parallel with this S by 2 impedance. That is to be added with this 1 by S impedance because we have replaced this capacitors and inductors with their respective impedances. So 2 into or S by 2 So this is what we have got Z of S is equal to 2S square plus S plus 4 and here it is S into S plus 4. So we will take this 2 common because we want to make coefficient of this S square which is the highest order of numerator as 1. So if you take this 2 common, so we have got this impedance function finally. Now we have to factorize this. So we will take the roots of this numerator. So we have factorized it. So this numerator polynomial is having complex roots. And now if we want to determine the zeros and poles, let us determine the zeros first. So you can see whenever this S takes value which is minus 0.25 minus 1.39 Z or minus 0.25 plus 1.39 Z, this numerator will drop to 0. So there are two zeros. So these are the two zeros. Now about poles, here you can see whenever this S is 0 or S is minus 4, your denominator will become 0 and denominator when becomes 0, your function will become infinity. So there are two poles, first one is S equal to 0 and second one is S equal to minus 4. So we wanted to get poles and zeros and we have achieved it. So that is the end of this problem. So thank you very much guys for watching this video. Stay tuned to Ikeda and please subscribe to Ikeda. Thank you.